I feel really lonely. My anxiety is like at an all time high. At one point there's a sketchy person following me. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Haley's comments or hey, if you are new, today I'm giving up my phone and I'm absolutely terrified. I was planning on like putting my phone in a box, doing this dramatic intro and all that, but I lost my phone and it's dead. So I have no idea where it is. Ever since I was 12 years old, I've had a cell phone and that's when social media was becoming a thing. So I've just learned how to live life with a cell phone. Like I'm very, and I don't want to say that, but I'm just like, to be honest, I am. And you probably are too, so don't even judge me. <laughs> and growing up, before I had a cell phone, I would just create all day. I would write different things. I would make videos. Like I was constantly creating. And then as well as going on Club Penguin, like those are my two things. And I want to get back to that because right now it's like, I want to create, but I spend so much of my time just like scrolling through meaningless social media sites and I'm not even enjoying it. Like I really don't like social media all that much. I love internet culture, I love YouTube, but I spend way too much time on it. Like I cannot think of a single day in the last five years that I did not check at least one social media account. And that is insane. We need to take a step back. This is like ruining us as a society. I'm just, just uh. What's up guys? Okay, so this is me like a couple weeks later. Um, I need to say a few things. I'm sorry I haven't posted. Before I filmed this, I had been starting to go into a depression and I was recognizing it and I was like what can I do to stop this and so that's why I filmed this video let me go with my phone for a day have a good reset and then I'll be back to normal yeah that's not how it works but <laughs> so something I've been noticing is that it's just easier to use your phone to aid yourself in depression the way depression works is you feel like and so you don't do anything and then you feel more like because you didn't do anything and then it just circles and circles and circles basically your phone allows you to do that it's like everything you could ever possibly need could be done on your phone and so it allows you to just live in that depressive state but anyway i'm doing a lot better now so i've just kind of come to terms with as much as it sucks and as much as the youtube algorithm will not favor me because of it i'm just gonna have to randomly take mental health breaks unannounced. <laughs> I can't stop myself from becoming depressed. Like I, I can try, like that's why I'm trying to figure out what I can do with my phone and all sorts of little factors like that. But ultimately this isn't the cause of my depression. It just allows me to be depressed more easily. All right, let's get into the real video now. If you're wondering why I'm on this coffee talk setup, I'm gonna do some filming. Let's start the day. Now I'm going to make a grocery list and try to find the grocery store. <laughs> we'll see how that goes, but normally I would just jot all the stuff down on my phone, but I gotta go old school today and make an actual list. Okay, so I just finished my list and I just realized like, I'm really glad that I just got my tax return because normally I'd be checking my bank account through my phone to see how much money I have to spend on groceries. So that's one advantage of having a phone is like you can always check if you have enough money before you get to the register and your card gets declined and all of that. So out of pure impulse right now, I was looking around for my phone so that I could grab it before I left and then I took a second and I was like, hey, wait a minute. I'm so addicted to it that I didn't even think about it. I was just like, where's my phone? I need to find my phone. I'm kind of having a lot of anxiety about leaving without having a phone in my hand. We'll see. We'll see if I can get there. Well, I walked to my car and then realized I forgot my list. That's how it's going so far. I feel so naked, guys. I feel naked without my phone. So, the radio sucks. Although I wouldn't have found this song. I do not think that I am going the right way. I know it's near this mall that I go to sometimes, so I made it to the mall, but I can't find the Whole Foods. I don't know how to get anywhere without my phone. Oh my God, I'm surprised I can make it to the mall, honestly, but it's literally just a straight shot. This, this ain't it. This is not the right way. I need to turn around. I'm parked in some random neighborhood. I'm gonna turn around. I'll probably have to go back to the mall, get on that main road, and then keep going on the other road that I got off of, I guess. I have no idea. <laughs> That's my best guess, so we'll see where that takes me. Oh my god, guys, so I went back the way that I came and I was able to find it. I'm kind of impressed with myself, honestly. Well, now I'm gonna go in. I don't think I'm gonna film, like, at all in there. 
Well, that was interesting. I didn't think the grocery store would be anything like out of the norm because I don't really use my phone that much when I'm in a grocery store, but actually I do, apparently. <laughs> because I felt really uncomfortable at a few points. There were like two different times where people were standing in front of what I needed to get. Normally, I would just kind of stand around, you know, pretend I'm looking at something else and then start like pretending to text someone or something. <laughs> I didn't have that, so I just had to stare at the pickles and look like I was trying to decide which kind of pickles I needed. It was really awkward. There was like a line to check out, so I was just standing there doing nothing, and I felt really uncomfortable. I never realized how much I used my phone as a crutch for my social anxiety. But anyway, now I'm gonna try to find my way home. Yeah. You might be thinking like if I could find my way there, I could find my way home, but my brain doesn't work like that. I can go somewhere, but then I would have no idea how to reverse that map in my head for some reason. I genuinely don't know how to get home. Okay, I just turned around in a parking lot. I was not going the correct way but I realized pretty immediately so that's good I'm pretty sure this is the right way I turned around and I had to cut someone off to get in the right way <laughs> okay actually going straight wound me up in a parking lot so that was not correct um, I think I was supposed to turn perhaps left I have no f idea I realize where I need to go. I realized it too late. Oh, there's a bug. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I'm in the wrong lane turn at this point that's a pothole oh my god i'm literally going in circles i am somehow back at that same mother parking lot i thought i was going the right way and i don't understand last time i went left so i'm gonna go right this time i have gone to this stoplight four times now i think and i've tried every way except this one way so it must be the right way i'm hoping so I just got on the interstate. That was the exit that I took. Immediately I knew that I was on the interstate, like the right interstate going in the wrong direction. So I got off on some random exit to hopefully turn around, but then that exit led to like another interstate and just, I don't know where the I am. Now I'm in some random parking lot. Um, so yeah, my anxiety is like at an all time high. I am trying to remain calm. I'm trying to say, hey, this is good content for the video. That guy's staring at me filming, that's all right. Okay, I need to get on the interstate going the opposite direction. Hopefully, I have enough common sense to realize what my exit would be, but I don't have a lot of faith in that. We'll just see. I don't know how to get home from the interstate, but I do know how to get to my old apartment, I think. Oh my god, I found 72nd Street. Thank god. I know how to get home from here. Um, I think. At least I know I'm close to my house now. I think I'm supposed to go straight, and I might be thinking of Benson. If I can make it to Benson, then I can figure out how to get to Midtown. Oh my god, I wasted so much gas. This is so ridiculous. Thank god I found this building. It's not my apartment complex, but I know that means I'm close to home. I made it. It only took me um, 45 minutes to get somewhere that's like 15 minutes maximum away from my house. Well, that was an adventure. <laughs> I feel really anxious and normally if something like this happens, I will come home and allow myself to de-stress by going on YouTube. I don't have that today. So I feel very just anxious and I don't know how to deal with it. But anyway, I'm hungry so I'm gonna eat this thing that I got. This looks good. It's like a vegan breakfast scramble thing. But normally when I eat, I'll watch YouTube videos as well. So I just, um, YouTube consumes my life. I don't really know what to do with myself. So I think I'm gonna look at my email and some jobs on Upwork. So I've been freelancing a little bit. I feel really lonely. I really do. Uh, granted, I'm alone, but normally I don't feel so lonely. I just feel really disconnected from everybody else. Let me give you a mini mukbang. <laughs> so I have no one else to talk to or watch videos. I need to clean my room, so what better time than right now? Also, my camera battery is about to die, so we'll see how long it lasts me. <laughs> I'm eating some pizza. I did a little cleaning. I put in some laundry. I put a timer on my microwave so that I don't forget about it. <laughs> We're about to go on a walk. Hi. He doesn't know what's happening. He's like, this could be good or bad. It's like 8.30, so it's not very late, but it's pitch black outside, so that kind of sucks. Aw, that was 
fun. He's a happy boy. Look at this happy munchkin. Huh, bud? Are you a happy munchkin? Yeah. Oh, he's tired. So we went on a walk, and now I'm gonna go on another walk without him. I need to go to Walgreens and get some water because I'm really thirsty, and I don't trust the tap water. Not in this flood, anyway. But it'll be weird going to Walgreens without a phone. Maybe I'll die. <laughs> Take care of my dog. <laughs> person following me and the minute I saw them like the image of them like putting a pillowcase over my head and carrying me away came into my head then I realized I was walking along like the busiest street in Omaha Dodge and it's only like nine o'clock at night they'd be ballsy if they did that anyway now I'm gonna edit I feel like I haven't really gotten all that much stuff done today which is surprising I mean I guess I have though I have done a lot but I just thought I would get more done. I feel very mentally exhausted, which is weird because I thought it would be the opposite. I thought I'd feel like refreshed. I've been anxious all day, honestly. All right, let's get to work. Okay, I'm gonna get to work now. Okay, I'm gonna get to work now. All right, Haley, shut the up. My laundry's done. Yay. <laughs> also, I found my phone earlier. In case you're wondering. So I am charging my phone right now. I am gonna need to go onto my phone for one thing today. And I thought about it, like, should I do it, should I not? But basically I need to set an alarm. I do have regular alarm clocks that I could use, but I need multiple alarms or else I just don't wake up. I'll turn it off in my sleep. But besides that, I haven't gotten my phone at all today and that's all I'm doing. So I feel like that's pretty good. I'm about to set my phone alarm. Nope, can't look at my messages. Ah! It's so hard. All right, alarms are set. I'm off my phone. That's all I did It's also gonna be weird because normally at nighttime I'll listen to like ocean sounds or something like that on YouTube. So I don't get that tonight The next day I got my phone back. I mean I had it But now I can turn it on which I already did <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I had a lot of notifications, but I was scrolling through them and none of them were even remotely interesting. The most interesting thing I found all morning was cat singing high hopes, which I mean, okay, that was pretty lit. <laughs> okay. I think it just goes to show that our phones are not as interesting and we're just addicted. After I gave up my phone for that day, that entire next week, I used my phone way more than I ever had. I just couldn't stop using it. There was that one week where I was really bad, and then after that I was like, I need to do something. So I deleted Facebook off my phone. So I've been doing a lot better, but I'm still watching a lot of YouTube. Um, I've thought about getting one of those containers where you like literally put your phone inside and just lock it away, but there's so many reasons why you need a cell phone. It's like a lose-lose. Anyway, I'm gonna go play my phone now, bye. Thank <laughs> you.